Welcome to Pringle, Pringle the, the One's World. Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube fam? Pringle the One the Building. How we doing? Well, we're in the bathroom. In the bathroom this time. So, and shouts out to my buddy Birdie for the idea of doing it in the bathroom. Now, I want to say a big thanks to the guys at Munchpack for sending me a box. I got two boxes this time. And... I have to apologize, guys. Yes, it's it's starting out like that. I'm very, very sorry. So, I did the first box, right? And my issue was, is that these are the two, right? My issue was, is that I did the recording for, for the first box, this first box, right? And this is where the apology has to go through. I did not turn on my mic. On it or more so the battery died midway through so what happened is is that I pretty much went through it and then I, I pretty much ate some of the items right so because of that I what I'm going to do this this is an apology what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both. I didn't eat everything in the, the box, though. Don't worry. I didn't eat everything in the box. I didn't sadly open it. But what I'm going to do is do this one as well. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm really, really sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I fucked up right there. But the best way to do this is by apology through a video. So I'm going to apologize this way because this way I'm showing my serious... Uh, my serious fault in what I did with uh, this uh, this video. Oh, what what even is on my head? All right, so I'm not trying to make this a really sad video or anything. I'm just really sorry, guys. Like, god damn it, god damn it. I'm really sorry, but I got y'all, man. For the next box you guys send me, I have this place I have in mind, which I don't have. I don't know exactly where it is. But it's going to be outside of this room. So for the the first one was going to be well, the first box I did a while back, which was not much pack exactly, was the Tokyo Tree, and I did it in my room. So then the much pack box I did, or did I do it over there? The, anyways, the other one I did, I did it in my kitchen, and now I'm doing it in the bathroom because in the bathroom, and I got like, well, it's the bathroom. So I mean, um. It's better than being in the same place every time, and I wanted to give you guys like a nice new environment. Now, once again, I gotta say I'm really sorry, guys, and much pack for um, pretty much screwing up the video. It made me sad too because of the fact that I'm pretty much screwed on that month of the video. If you guys were expecting a specific month for each video, which you guys really tell me to plan. But anyways, don't worry. What's up, everybody? How we doing today? I just had to set that uh, apology. I, I should put video starts. Oh my gosh, man. What is, what is this little plastic thing right here? This little white thing. Don't. I hope you guys are. Anyways, you, you what's up, YouTube fam? Bring the one in the building. Or in the bathroom, as I said earlier, which I just realized I'm saying my intro again. Um, We got another munch pack. This was basically the one that I opened up was for the June. And yes, it is August. Once again, I'm sorry. It's August. The, lat, the first one that I opened that was supposed to be the video for that one was the June one. And this is the July one. But because I opened that box up and you're not really getting my first taste on everything. Well, we're going to do the July box because, you know, damn it, we got to do it. So this is me surprised now. This is, this is, I didn't open this one and then freaking eat it and then be like, oh man, I ate both of them. It's fucking, oh shit, this one look really colorful. All right, so check this out, man. We got some panda. Yeah, Panda. Panda, oh. Man, I like those people that they're like, oh man, I love pandas, man. Yo, pandas, man, they're so nice and cute. Have you ever seen a fucking panda? I bet you wouldn't go up to a fucking panda and say that. I think it's cool. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Bet you will. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. 
like I just got a whiff of the the the, 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 the strawberry. Oh, oh. By the way, guys, this video is a sponsored video. I do receive free munch packs to do videos on them, but I am not getting paid. I'm just getting free food. Well, free, but with the expense of the video, which I'm very, I'm very sorry, Munch Pack. I'm sorry, guys. I, I did not mean to do that. That was not in my intention, man. I'll make it up to you guys. I'll make it up to you guys. I got you guys. Anyways, so now, oh, Jesus. Oh, these are like little uh, crackers, man. Oh, look at this. Little strawberry crackers, man. Look like marshmallow kind of. Uh... <laughs> That's that ish. Mm. Mm, mm. I like that. I like that. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot anyways. So actually, we've had plenty of time. Yo, for a second there, I really thought these were Spider-Man uh, chips, but it's a lobster. Doesn't it look like from the side, like if you look at it from like the, uh, like a, 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 a perspective of not really paying too much attention to what you're seeing in front, like the images, but you're looking more into the color. It looks like a Spider-Man jumped out of a comic book and he made chips now. What is this, like lobster chips? Potato chips? Oh, they're just normal potato chips. Um, let's see here. Oh, I'm gonna have to take a pass on this one, guys. I'm sorry, Um, I cannot eat anything that's uh, that has any kind of meat or anything like this because it says it has lobster extract powder, which probably means like crushed up pieces of specific lobster bites or anything like that passed into the, uh, the chips. So I can't really touch this, guys. But hey, lobster chips, though, looking like Spider-Man from the, the, um, you guys are probably like it, because it says normal chips, so I'm going to assume that. I will open it, though, I will open it, though. Woo, me, mamiya, whoo, chala. Man, that smell, man. Oh, man. The hat is going to be a reoccurring thing now, by the way. Oh, man, that smell is something else, man. Um, And these are the chips, man. Normal looking chips. I got to at least show you guys what the chips look like. So, you know, be nice. Like, I'm just sorry. It just it just blew my face up. This explosive amount of, of just, it just season and spice and flavor and everything nice. It was just all in my face, man. It was all in my face. Oh, what's this? Um, an orange stick? Ah, oh, Japanese stuff, man. I love the Japanese stuff. The orange, man. And let's go, man. Orange, man. Yo, you know what, man? I don't need a superhero to save the day. I need orange, man, to do that. Anyways, we got some orange, man. Let's go. Oh man, orange man, orange is like a stick. Like I don't know what the hell it is, man. Orange man, stick. Ah, okay. That was good. I liked it. It was good. It was good. It was good. It's that 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 like that kind of like that uh, that sour trolley worms. Which I got one right here. I see. Okay, so I guess the thing, the team, the theme of this one is like gummy stuff. Um, generally, my only thing with most of the time with these um uh for things of of what I gotta be careful is when I'm eating these things, like I am a vegetarian for 29 days or 30, depending on if I get a Tokyo treat box, then I'm on, I'm not, uh, I mean, if I get a Tokyo treat box, I, I mean, all right guys, I think there was like a minor cut because technical difficulties, man, that's all I'm gonna say, man. That's all I'm gonna say, technical difficulties out the motherfucking wazoo, man. Technical difficulty. So we have, I, I, I was gonna say, like I was going back to uh, saying, most of the time with these little, um, 
these little uh, gummy packs is that they use uh, gelatin or gelatin of some form of gelatin and what my issue is with these gelatin packs is the fact that um, I can't I don't really go out there trying to eat them like I'm sorry guys but I'm not going to eat this gelatin pack because of the fact that they sometimes have uh, like the way they make the gelatin tend to have uh, animal products so I'm going to have to pass on these gelatin packs but as you can see the packing is, is uh, it's a little, like, nice little cool package little uh, snakes and shit like that like the trolley gro uh, sour gr earth uh, worms like those I won't I just won't eat um, that one was kind of like the Japanese one was kind of uh, the same but in necessarily I want to say it tasted a bit like it wasn't specifically gelatin like this one like we got some banging ass trolley sour earthworms but all oh, these are octopus but I, I I really can't eat these generally because I don't trust uh, what they do with it like it like since it uses gelatin sortable yeah gelatin sortable lactic acid i can't really touch this uh i'm sorry guys at much pack i i cannot touch this i will not touch this for just for my spiritual and personal reasons as to why i wouldn't eat like things like with gelatin in it but hey that's a bombing ass uh octopus and now we have this is a really light one i see date rolls all right oh no is that like the the, 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 well, well, then we're gonna have to figure this out. Here we go. Um, is this the legitimately? Uh, yeah, it should taste bad. I, I hope not. I'm thinking of like the fruit dates. I've never really tried them or anything like that, so we're gonna have to see how this goes, man. Oh, Fig Newton bars, man. What? Who, who made these? Date rolls, man. Call them fake news, man. These are pretty good. So killing y'all with milk paper. Who made dates? Oh. Yo, Fig Noons are really good, man. Like, oh, mm. mm mm. Yo, Fig Noons, they really good. Like, they pretty much are Fig Noons. I'm not sure necessarily where they come from, Britannia. So oh, there you go. If that's the taste. Mm. Fig Noons, though. Let's go. Mm mm mm. We have some. What's this? Knife candy, caramelo and macizo. Mm. This is out, guys. Knife candy. Hmm. See what this is. It'd be so dope if it feels like a knife. I could shank somebody and then be like, ah, bitch, eat the sugar. Mmm. Hope I can't get diabetes. Oh shit, it is like a hold up, it is like a knife. Yo, let's go, man. It's a knife. Oh, damn, I broke it. Look, look, look. So I, like it attached like this. It's like one of those pocket knives that come out and they're like, yeah, baby, you just stab them like five times. Stab them, uh, how many times did Caesar get stabbed? Like 31. Stab that dude 31 times, man. 32 just for the homie Brutus. Brutus. Let's go, yeah, 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 yeah. This is my stab in the face right there. Ah, oh, my, my arm. I feel like I'm popping something. That's my stabbing face right there. Oh, like it even has like fingers, like finger grips for you. Get it right here. Nah. Mm, mm, mm. What you say about my mom? Nah, twist a little bit, let it bleed. Yeah. I like it. I like I like the idea. I wish more and more candy was like this fun. Candy used to be so fun. Now it's like, like remember the Wonder Ball? Like, I now wonder, wonder what's inside of a Wonder Ball. And then you open it and you're like, ah, oh, this shit fucking garbage, man. I didn't want this shit. Oh, we got some vanilla wafers. Mm. Oh, I think it's Japanese, actually. Oh, no, it's probably Chinese. Oh, wait, can you guys see this? The characters? Let me see. Yeah, 
it's, I think it's uh, it's definitely Chinese. Ooh, that focus. Yeah, it's definitely Chinese, I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dust that you excrete is just so magnificent. <laughs> ah, vanilla wafers, though. I like those, man. They're really good. Here we got next. Um, we have my man. Damn, man, I forget this guy's name, man. Like, he reminds me of, uh, I was thinking of Doraemon, but I've seen him in a lot of um, Degashi from uh, Japan. They use this guy a lot of times, and I, I think I know what this is. Um, let's see what, what it got over here. Tomato, bread, crumbs, spices, bonito powder. Dang, wheat, milk, soy. All right, bro. Uh, ah. Uh, take a bite of it I'm hoping that it doesn't have any milk products but there is a pig right there and sometimes I don't know how this works but generally Japanese do their things a little bit differently but we got like pretty simple kind of like crackerish type snack I think you guys see me do that pull out one of these every now and then so I see I've had many of these at this point that it's not like yo what is that flavor though give me Give me that, give me your flavor, give me that, give me your flavor, flavor. I don't know what that was though. I'm not sure what this flavor is. And last but not least, we have chocolate cookies. Chocolate cookies. Damn. Jesus Christ. This was like it looked like you could kill somebody over the head with these, man. You know it's stacked when you could kill somebody up the, over the head with these kind of things, man. Yeah, man. Just like those, um, like Oreos in a sense. Generally, what happens with Oreos is they oh, so much chocolate. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of chocolate, guys. But uh, we are gonna give this a shot. Ooh, I'm taking a small bite. I'm sorry, I'm really not a big fan of chocolate. Hey, not bad, man. Not bad. It's not too chocolatey like I thought it would be. Usually, it's, it's too much. It's Usually the chocolate in America, or like in certain places, it's just too chocolatey. And then it has a really strong aftertaste. So I can't really finish it all by myself. But this, mm, not bad. Not bad. All right, guys. This was the, um, I have to conclude this right here. This was the, um, the July box the box that was for last month and I waited till August to do the video because of things in my life. And I screwed up the June video box and I have the June box there. I'm going to go through it possibly in less than 10 minutes or so just to show you guys what's in the box. I'm really sorry once again guys at Munchpack that I opened the box and I pretty much went through some of the things and y'all y'all held it down with the tamarindo. Tamarindo. Mm. Tamarindo. So, I'm going to put this one down for now. And I'm going to show you guys what was in the box for last month. Well, I mean, June. Two months ago. Um, so, I'm guessing the, the basis of this one was nuts. There was a lot of peanuts in this shit. No homo, of course. Like, about that life, man. But there was a lot of nuts in here. A lot of nuts in this bag, and I'm gonna go through every single one of them. And if I have one, actually, oh man, I'm, this is so terrible. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I gotta. Oh my god, I had dust on my shirt. None of y'all told me anything. There's probably someone in the comment section that's like, this guy, freaking dust on his shirt. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So they brought. They they started off with. Oh. Where is that paper? Oh. Shout out to Liz. I, I, I Shout out to Liz says made with love by Liz. I appreciate the love. Follow us on Snapchat. 
which I already follow you guys on Twitter and I don't have a Snapchat. But I do have a Twitter, so I'm gonna click the link below. No, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna click the link below and I'm gonna go right to Snapchat. So they start out with some jalapenos ruffles. Jalapenos, that's how we say it around here. Jalapenos, I don't care what you tell me. The dude in the back looks so ripped. He looks so damn ripped that I'm loving how he looks. He looks so good. Like, check this out, man. He looked like you could bite off his head and then be like, mmm. That shit was delicious. It's a Ruffles dude. It's really spicy chips too, actually. They're really, really damn spicy. I didn't think they'd be that damn spicy, man. But, um, they got some of that spice. Mm. They got some of that spice, man. They also gave me, I'm so sorry about this, but I gotta do this now that I opened up the box. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I should have got some water, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Oh, man. They also gave me some, um, I, and I destroyed the bag, too. Like, it's not even presentable. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, for real. Um, but I'm going to keep on going with this. They gave me some Korean snacks, and they were peanut crunch snacks. They're pretty they're pretty good. And the way they're shaped, like, hold on. Let me show you guys how they're shaped. Right? You're going to like this one. You're going to like this one. Look at how they're shaped. Why they shaped like this? A little weird. Like really weird. Like especially the tip. Like this this like shit looks really weird, man. Like the way it's shaped. It tastes pretty good though. It's kinda sweet though. <clears throat> and man, my sweet tooth is damn near dying over here. It's not bad though. We have some white cheddar puffs with the booty. Yes, I, I had a little bit of this. I'm about to say sorry for everyone I pull out. I'm, if I had, if I touched it, I gotta say sorry now. This is not bad actually. These little white cheddar puffs, they're like, um, yeah, not bad. I, I think you guys have seen this if you're from America. You've probably seen these pirate booty. Got a little pirate booty. Mm. I'll take a taste of it just tell y'all how it is when I eat it. Not bad. There's also peanut brittle that I got from Mexico. Shout out to my Mexicans. Funky, if you're seeing this, is it? This shit says palinquita. Is that how you say it? Or is it palinquita? Palinquita. 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 That sounds like a like a really a really um really sub-Saharan African last name. Palinquita. Yeah. Palenqueta. Ah, that was the last name that was the last name. Palenqueta. Palenqueta. I don't know what that is, man. I've never really heard that term before. Uh, but check it out. This peanut, it's peanut brittle. Um, shout out to my dude Funky. Have you seen this? What the hell does that mean? And how do you say it? I'm asking you right now. Peanut brittle, man. I'm not really a big fan of peanut brittle, but this shit got pretty much everything you I mean, I think it has sunflower seeds, pistachios. Um, normal peanuts, macadamia. God damn, what does this do? Almonds. Oh, ugh, too much peanuts. Oh man, too much damn peanuts, man. Too much peanuts. Actually, I, I, I honestly don't want to bite this. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm not really a fan of big. Of uh, I was, I, I'm not really a fan of too much of these uh, big peanut brittle bars and stuff like that. But uh, peanut brittle. They gave me another peanut brittle bar too afterwards, which was crazy. We got another one, but this one, I like the packaging. You know why? Because it comes with a hot, dope-ass teddy bear. Well, he's a bear, he's not a teddy, he's a bear. He look like he'll probably maul you or something if you come up to him and stuff. But he got this hot bear with a damn, uh, what's them things called? Them floaties, man. Floaties. You know how tough it is going by and you can't swim for shit and you got a floaty on? That shit tough, man. That shit tough. Let somebody come up to you, man. You pull out a damn floaty on them. I'll knock you out with my floaty, man. I'll knock you out with my floaty, man. That shit tough. All right. Anyways, keep going. 
it's peanut brittle just like la like the last one I said. It's not that sweet, which was the, the 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 other one was a bit sweeter for me, but it's peanut brittle. It doesn't really go past that. It's not bad though. I don't know where this shit is from though. I think uh Russian possibly. Ah, I'm not sure, y'all. You can take a check. You can try going at this. I'm not gonna try to figure what the heck this is. <laughs> I'm not gonna figure it out. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. You guys what? So this is something that I just tore up. I'm sorry, y'all. I tore this thing up, man. This is called the um. Oh man, this was sick. This was so fucking good. <laughs> it's called the Squinlow. Basically, these kind of candies are this uh tamarind. I think that's how you say it in, in English. I'm not sure. Spanish is tamarindo. It's usually those kind of candies that they're coated in um like tamarind tamarindo flavored uh like kind of like a like a texture type thing where it, it's like a i want to say I, I i don't really know a good explanation of this since i tore this shit up man it was really good much pack y'all did the good on this i'm i'm so sorry man but it was so good like i i would if i'll tell y'all what man i'll tell you the truth even if i would have opened this video up during the video i would have tore up before even opening the box like it was just that good it was i love tamarindo flavored I, it was the same thing with this one i ate man i tore that bag i tore it up man like like this was the same thing the tamarindos are like a i'm not necessarily sure what exactly they are or where they they grow to be honest which is kind of sad because i like it but this is the same thing kind of candy where they it was uh coated in like this tamarindo flavored um candy it's pretty much a straw it's called um Javelina, I uh, know I said that right, and it's really, really good. Like Tom, I told you, I, this I did not finish this tamarindo flavored uh, candy, which I'm probably gonna finish right after this video. Which it, I'm sorry, man, but hey, tamarindo candy is the shit. Like it's so fucking good. Ooh. Mm. 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 This candy is called Lucas Enchiladas. No, Peak Lucas and Enchiladas. Usually the um I tore up the bag, but if you see right here, there's a duck. I think I got the the image right. And that duck has been in, in a lot of um I'll tell you a little a uh, little knowledge, a little fact. The duck is in a lot of places in Panama. It also is the duck that makes this uh, kind of crazy hair type of... Um... Oh my gosh, that candy left my mouth water. <laughs> wow, that's a really good candy. Um, But it's just the tamarindo flavor items. I don't know what's up with them. It's, and if you ever had the juice, tamarindo juice, oh, so good too. Man. But sometimes you can't eat too much of it because it's just too sweet. But that duck that's on the uh, the bag, he's usually uh, Lucas, and they, he also has like tamarindo flavored crazy hair, and then tamarindo flavored something else. And the funny thing is, is that it all tastes the same. Like all these things that they be making that's different under the same brand, all of this shit tastes like tamarindo, man. Oh, it doesn't even matter like what color it is or anything. It all just fucking tastes like tamarindo. It's fucking hilarious. Like I had shit that looks blue and it tastes like tamarindo. So. I don't know what's up with that. That it still tastes really good. Um, here's uh something that I destroyed again. Yup, I'm sorry, y'all. Ninety nine cents. But you think isn't this kind of funnier? I think this is kind of funnier the fact that I'm showing you like the the packaging of like the shit that was there because I tore it up because it was so good. Like Munch Pack, y'all, your candy, your snack game is on point. Man most part i'm just not a fan of peanut brittle or anything that has like gelatin in it that i just cannot touch i'm sorry guys but hey this 99 uh it was a, it was pretty much a cracker joint and it was pretty good i i pretty much just scarfed that shit down man oh man i'm so ashamed of myself I feel like one of those fat kids man oh no oh, man same thing with this one Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. It was the same thing with this one, man. This one was a, uh, usually it's just like the snack ones, like, uh, where, where's that thing here? A lot of these things have the similarities with this kind of snack in terms of, uh, if you don't know what it is, and it's basically the same thing for this one. 
And exactly like the same with this one. It's just different flavors, but it's just pretty much like bread or crackers or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty much like bread and stuff like that. It's like wheat. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And they're really light snacks. It's always good to have some some of those every now and then because they're light snacks. This one was rice crackers that I just tore up completely. I'm sorry. Man, I'm sorry, but these rice crackers were good. Like, I, I it, like, and it's not like it bursted with flavor or anything. It was pretty much what it is. Just rice crackers with a hint of sugar and some salt, possibly. A little dry, uh, a little dry in the dust part. Like it just felt like some dust. It would have been good with some water, but it actually uh, served its purpose, and I liked that. It, I was like, not bad, man. Not bad. Not bad. I could be eating something different, but it's not bad. And it also came this 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 the last item in the box that came with, and this was pretty damn cool. Like I said, I'm sorry for like eating it, but hey, at least you guys know. That that shit was good. I'm real, I'm real. Like for real. Like I don't I don't think that's pretty lame. I'm sorry, Munch Fat. I'm doing two boxes in one video and I got you guys though, man. I really appreciate the fact that you guys picked me to get boxes and do videos. Um, and I really appreciate you guys for sticking through this. I'm really sorry. You guys are seeing like old stuff, but uh, going back to this, this is like honey waffles. Um, it's 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 good. It's like a waffle snack. Like I'll, I'll show you what it is. I really don't want to bite it because too much sweetness right now, man. Like, nah, I have to I have to bite it to make up for all this stuff that I haven't eaten. But um, uh, it's pretty much like this. Like it reminds me of Lego my ego, Lego my ego, man. Mmm. But it tastes like a like the funny thing is that it, it tastes more like a cracker than what it looks like. Like I thought it would have been a little like a soft like a like a waffle. But then it's kind of like a cracker. Like if you were eating the um, the, um, the the cracker waffle cereal, whatever the hell that shit is. What that wa waffle cereal? I don't like it though, man. It tastes ass, man. I don't like those waffle cereals, man. I, I feel like they're trying to be something they not. I don't really like those waffle cereals. But um, yeah, this is it, guys. Like I said, I'm really sorry, guys, the Munch Pack for pretty much screwing up the original video of this. Um, this box um, for the June box and for the July. And I'm also sorry for the uh, delay. There's just a lot of things coming down and just um, my time and everywhere. But I really appreciate you guys sending me the box. Oh my, let me check if my shit is still recording. I'm gonna be so mad if that's the case. Okay, we're in the clear, y'all, we're in the clear. Oh my gosh, man, I was, I don't, there has been countless times where that's happened to me. <clears throat> so a couple of things, guys, um, uh, questions. Oh, I mean, like, a um, couple of things I just want to say. I will be wearing this hat more often in most of my videos now when it comes to my face. Just for the just for the sheer uh, laugh of it. It doesn't really have any... Oh, yellow right here. Yeah, the yellow's right here. Um, but I'll be trying to wear this hat more often just for the laugh of it. Just in the spirit of my character. And I always wanted to rock one of these hats because they're just so silly. And it pretty much kind of, like, really does help my... Uh, who I am as a character. The Moogle is... The Moogle... The avatar that I have right now, the Moogle, with the, uh, the 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 hat, is the hat being in in relevance to my PD character, and then the Moogle just being what I what I always wanted to be made, and my great, amazing, beautiful person, Finny, made it happen. My artist, she made it happen. So I'm glad that happened. Um, another thing, guys, would you like a Q&A video with me? Um, I'll be, I'll some of y'all stick to the end. Uh, or at least I'll say that in the description below. Would you guys want like a Q&A video so you can ask me questions if you have any kind of questions? I'm pretty much of a personal uh, person. Like I'm, I'm pretty approachable, I meant to say. Personal person. I'm pretty approach, uh, approachable uh, individual. So you can pretty much, if you probably ask me questions, I probably will give you an answer, uh, even in the comment section. I really try to. There's a lot of comments. It's it's getting hard. Like if I gotta like sit down. And it, it it's really cool, but at the same time, it kind of sucks because like I can't get to every single one of y'all. But I try. I'll try to do what I can for the most part. And there's also the times when I uh, when I stream on Twitch, which is like not a lot of us. It's like 20, 30. So you can pretty much just hop in there and ask me questions. It's not, as long as it doesn't turn like monotonous or it's just too many questions and then you're just like, you're just, your curiosity is just, I, I can't feed that curiosity 
And you know what they said about the cat with curiosity. It's not that he got killed. No, that's not the case. I think curiosity didn't just kill the cat. It killed it. It shut his damn mouth. So, I mean, like, that's... Yeah, I mean, he did die. He did mouth. But I'm, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just reemphasizing it. But yes, you can come in and ask me those questions. Uh, it's also, but it is better if you guys are really wanting to do like a Q and A, and I'll, I'll make a little update video or not an update. I just, I just drop a video and say, hey guys, I got a Q and A. How about you ask me questions below in the comment section, and I'll do that for the next one. So how about you? Would you guys be interested in that? Another thing is, guys, I'm sorry for the lack of content. I've just been, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the hell I've been, man. I've just been here and there and time and eating up and doing this and doing that so it's a lot of there and here and there and maybe and whatever I'm, I'm i'll just do what i can for this week couple of things i got yes i got you guys for the mega man it'll be coming out this week um uh, mega man 2 we're going on air air man air man stage air man about to get work pokemon puzzle league gotta finish that up i may do some other stuff may try to bring in some other video games into the challenge mix and I also want to get back into doing the Wild Love video games, which my buddy Oblivious submitted a, a recording himself. So we'll get that into the uh, mix of my videos. And I also have a couple other things, as well as Finney's uh, Art Corner that I want to make a video for. But uh, guys, man, much love. I really appreciate you guys. I'm really sorry for the guys at Munchpack. I'm a really genuine person for the most part. I'm going to say that. I'm not going to say... I believe I'm a genuine person, or I think I, no, I am a genuine person enough to say that I'm just really sad that I'm, I messed up you guys' uh, unboxing. For the next one, I'm going to do it outside somewhere in a random ass place, like like somewhere random that I really want to do it, but just being where I am right now, and just that's not really a, the best option, or like it would be just really loud or stuff like that. I would have to drive really far, far from the goddamn airport. Um, so I wouldn't get no damn sound coming off there and in a nice area. But anyways, guys, I definitely want to do something for your next box, especially to make up for this, um, this sad unboxing I did. And shout out to Bertie for the idea of doing it in the bathroom. <laughs> and, uh, I really appreciate you guys. And shouts out to my bomb, beautiful artist that does all my good work Vinny, for the thumbnail and for the idea. Well, my idea, and she just made it. I swear to you, she like reads my mind, guys. And I do also want to make a new intro in accordance to the avatar to, you know, really compliment it now. And then it makes all the more sense. Instead of seeing my intro with the, the dude in the afro, then you get the, you know what I'm saying? Um, but y'all, much love and appreciation. Take care, everybody. That's all I got to say. I'm really thankful for you guys. Comment in the comments, subscribe, subscribers, like us, get that. Oh, wait, let me do that again. Comment in the comments, subscribe, subscribe, like us, get the like. Take care, everybody. Much love and appreciation. Peace. Yes. Damn it. Ah, man. And I had to do all of this again. <laughs>